Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out this resource, which is kind of a dev tool slash useful server owner tool. It's not just for developers, but it's also pretty much for anyone who needs to get coordinates inside of your GTA world, and you're sick of doing it through vMenu where it disappears all the time and all that stuff, this is an easy way to do that. Um, so if you don't know, coordinates are used where like gas stations are filled up, FR Fuel uses them to designate where you should have gas stations. There's a lot of different things um, that you can use these coordinates for. They're used in 5M callouts, a bunch of diff 5 PD callouts. There's a bunch of different things you can do with them. And um, this resource makes it really, really easy um, to get those coordinates without using Simple Trainer, without using something that requires you to continuously press a button to get the coordinates. This one is very easy. Pretty much how it works is you put this in the server, you type in a command, you go ahead and press E, and it will take those coordinates you're standing at currently and write them to a file so you can get them after you close the game. Very, very easy to use, very, very easy to install. I'm going to go ahead and download it, and then I'm going to show you how this works in a moment. So, the first step to do this is you're going to go to the resource page, which is linked at the top of the description. Go ahead and click where it says download, which takes you to a separate GitHub page. It goes over the how you install it, how you use it. You type slash point dev, and then you press E, and then you do it again, and it will save to the file. Pretty, pretty simple indeed. Go ahead and download this. Just download the zip file, um, just like you normally do with any other resource. Go ahead and open it up. Then you're going to go into your wherever your server locate uh, folder is located so a lot of people have been asking me recently I don't have a server to actually data folder I don't have the resources folder I don't have these folders don't worry everyone's setup is different if you're using a host your setup's going to be different if you're using Linux your setup's going to be different but you're always going to have the folder where you keep your resources maybe it's not called resources maybe it's called something else but regardless wherever you see like the normal game modes gameplay local managers that's the folder we're going to be doing 99 percent of the things we're doing in so just make sure you've gone to that folder in my case it's the server dash data folder and then the resources folder and then what you're going to do is you're just going to drag in this full folder we just downloaded from unzipping and you can see it just has the um, dash master at the end so you're going to right click rename get rid of that dash master and just copy the name of the folder without the dash master and you have it installed go back to your folder wherever you have your server.cfg file in my case it is the server dash data folder and then you're just going to add it in underneath all your other resources ensure and then that folder name we copied a moment ago um, and you're good to go you can start up your 5m server to make sure this is loaded successfully we're just going to check the console and then you can see it loaded that folder started resource we're good to go so i'm going to launch 5m and let's take a look at what this looks like in game all right so we've got an in game here and we're just going to type the command slash point dev and it's just going to go ahead and enable and you can see in the top left hand corner kind of behind the chat there it says press e to leave a point so i'm just going to go ahead and leave a point right here there we go save point one vector and then it gives you the coordinates and then you can literally add as many of these every time you press e it will just add these coordinates and then um it's just saving them so you could literally spam this when you're running down a hill like i am right now and save every single one of these cords and then when you're done you're just going to type point dev once again and then it's actually gone ahead and saved to the file now if you press e it's not going to do anything um so now if we exit out of the game we can actually go back to the file and see the list of the vectors that we have created which you then can use in other places so we go into our resources folder once again we go into the folder where we had it and then in here you can see there is a bunch of cool stuff inside of files you can see it has the text file if you open up this text file there are our vectors and you can import these directly to writer or whatever else you're using to code with or you can use them in uh, FR Fuel or any resource that uses coordinates like ODSX. Promise videos are coming on those soon. I've been reworking all the videos I tried to make last week, so they're coming soon. Um, so yeah, there you go. This is easy. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully this does help you with your development or with your coding or whatever you're doing with it. And I will see you in the next video um, probably in two days.